Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, new news. New news. Um, there's a new dev note, basically, that just got released on the Korean website. And someone on Reddit actually managed to translate it. Um, not on an official post, but in, actually in the comments. This is by Asked a Lot. Um, yeah, really, really nice of him to be able to translate this for us. So, basically, it's the exact same thing. It's talking about the changes that are going to be happening to the Nat 5s and some light and dark monsters. This was mentioned in a previous dev note, um, but it never went into detail. So I'm going to go through the list and just talk about what I think of all the changes. So first up, the Water Arthur. Um, this is probably really good for Water Arthur owners. I already thought he was pretty strong, but basically Morale Boost is now going to restore 50% of his attack bar. That is really, really strong. And the, wait, his attack, defense, and recovery stat will be also be buffed. That's actually a really, really bu big buff to the Water Arthur. The Wood Arthur, his second skill, originally um, it was a 60% chance to stun for one turn, and now it stuns for two, so this is really good. The Light Arthur, pretty sure nobody has this guy. 80% um, thirst, reducing skill gauge by 20% for two turns, originally only 10% for two turns. Alright, so basically it's going to... Uh, it leaves like a, I think it's thirst, right? Yeah, 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 thirst. So basically, it leaves a debuff on the enemy, and it reduces their SP bar by 20% every single turn. It used to be 10, now it's 20, so that's that's pretty nice. The Water Valk, 100% defense down for two turns. Originally, 60% defense down for three turns. I think 100% for two turns is is probably better than than 60% for three turns, but well, we'll see. Um, yeah, I think I think it's it's not bad. 100% for two turns is probably better. It's more reliable, and it means that when you actually do have a full SP bar, you're able to do more. Um, Fire and Wood Valk attack, defense, recovery boosted. So, wow, they're they're boosting the Wood Valk as well. She's she's actually really strong already. Um, the Wood Persephone attack, defense, recovery will be boosted. 80. 5 star 80% attack down for 2 turns, originally 60%. So they increased the attack down chance by about 20%. Um, well, not about, but exactly 20%. The Dark Persephone now has morale boost, granting 100% chance to restore SP gauge by 30%. Originally 30%. Oh, you, it used to be Stalker, but now it's, um, now it's morale boost. I think this is better because morale boost is really strong. I have a pretty strong bias towards morale boost. I think it's a really, really powerful skill for... Pretty much any scenario. And the 5 star skill is now Predator. Um, basically it increases crit damage by 40%. So she's going to be able to hit very very hard with a, with an AoE. And she can keep morale boosting to keep using her second skill to keep nuking. So she's definitely going to be a very very strong AoE nuker. The Fire and Water Persephone are also getting buffs. Their um, attack, defense and recovery stat will be boosted. So... I don't know. I I don't know about this one. Like the Water Persephone, in my opinion, is already really, really OP. I'm not sure if she really needs another buff, but we'll see. Um, the Light and Dark Astron. So the Light Hana is getting a complete stat rework. I don't know too much about her. I, I know that she's just basically a healer. Um, I don't actually know any of her skills, so she's gonna get a rework. Can't say too much about it. Light Anu, 60%. Thirst reduced SP gauge by 30% for two turns. Originally 60% to reduce by 10%. So it's basically like it's very very similar to um, the Light Arthur skill, but it's only a 60% activation rate. But it will reduce the SP gauge by 30% instead of 20. So higher, higher, lower chance of landing, but higher reward for landing. Um, Light Vampire fight. 5 star, 70% defense down for 2 turns, originally 60, so just basically a 10% extra um, buff to, to defense. Light Leo, 50% to stun for 2 turns, so they buff, basically just buff the stun chance by 50%. I think most of these are just buffs, they're not really nerfing anything here. Light Banshee, 50% shock for 1 turn, originally 40%. So they're kind of balancing the light monsters. Some of them are already like really, really strong. Like, um... Like 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 the ones I have, you know, like the Dark Cura or the Light Wild thing. Their chance of like activation is already like 80, 
percent you know it's just really really high so they're kind of balancing that a bit um, changing the activation chance of a lot of skills to make it so you know the the chance of stuff landing is a lot more balanced um, like Col a lot of people have this so 80% chance is to shock for two turns originally one turn I think this might, might be pretty nice you the the cold might be usable now because I think you know if you if you can shock for two turns, it's um, like for for PVE. If you're running through a level, it's basically armor break plus CC for you. So it's, it's definitely very very strong. Um, the light Cosmo, 60% chance to sap for one turn. Originally HP siphon on critical hit. Holy shit! Wait, they just completely scrapped the light Cosmo. Anyone that six starred him is fucked. Is literally fucked. 60% so they changed the 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 unique skill that the light Cosmo had to just a shitty sap. Oh damn. Anyone that built the light Cosmo is completely fucked. Holy shit. Um Dark Yuki, 60% thirst to reduce SP by 20%. Originally 60 to do So they're basically buffing all the thirsts. Um, Dark Sean, 80% silence for two turns, originally 60. Silence is still, I think silence is okay, it's not really that strong, like, you know, if you compare it to shock or stun, silence is just kind of okay. Um, cause silence, all it does is make it so you can't use the second skill, but they can still use the first skill. But if you just shock or stun someone, it's like, they can't move at all. Dark Leo, 100%, uh, attack down for two turns, originally 80%, so this is, it's gonna make him a lot more reliable. Um, in landing the attack down. The Dark Banshee, 80% chance to to sap for one turn. Originally, one type of sap damage for one turn, 80%. So basically, they gave another dot. So she's going to be able to use, um, land two saps in one attack if it lands. And at the 5-star the skill, 60% um, chance to sleep for two turns. So this is getting like nerfed a bit, but her first skill is getting buffed, so it's kind of balancing out. Um, I don't. I think everything is pretty straightforward in the patch. The only thing I can say anything about is the light Cosmo change, because anyone that built him is now completely fucked over. Yeah, I think I think that's 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 where I'm gonna end this video. All right, we're just gonna end on that note. Um, my uh, my condolences to whoever has built a light Cosmo, GG Rip, um, and. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, definitely leave a like. It does help me quite a lot. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.